good midday, I guess. I am along the Eau Claire River, northeast of Wausau. And I am here to explore the dells of the Eau Claire River. This is a county park, state natural area. I don't know. It says state natural or county park on the way in, but. So we're gonna go check out what this is all about. On the way to anywhere, unless you're going from Marinette County over to Wausau. I was looking for something else to do today. I had some extra time, a whole basically day, and I was already up north and I was like, what am I gonna do on my way back? And I looked at my Google Maps and I had pinned something and I was like, what's that pin? I'm like, all right, the Dells of Eau Claire. So I'm here to check it out. So I took the path, least traveled apparently. I didn't go to the main destination, but I am in a beautiful wooded walk here. I'll get to the main destination eventually, but really pretty forest walk. Now coming out of the woods, up on the river. And there are trails on both sides of the river. I found that taking pictures, trying to get good photographs of these locations, really makes me slow down, take my time here. It's right now. I'm gonna stay in this spot, show you this spot, for a little while, while I wait for a cloud to come by so I can get a not so high contrast photo for you. I'll enjoy it while I wait, and then move to the next scenic spot and take my time there. Alright, right now I'm standing on the bridge that goes over this section. This whole area is accessed from the right side. Um, I was just exploring the other side so far. There's also more to explore behind me on the other side. You know, the crowds and families are on the other side of the bridge over there. Um, they looked way high up from here. They're at the same level I am right now. But I can imagine this place in a hot summer day it's very crowded. It's very kind of chilly today. So this area is controlled water level wise by a dam up there. So I'm sure it's fairly consistent here. How much water gets down here. I'm going to go back down to the bridge, hop over, follow the trail up, and see what I can find on that side. And then head downstream. A lot more here than I thought. Well, now knowing there's a footbridge, I guess I could have walked across the dam and just come up and back around to make that a loop. Well, 
Things you learn, now you know, so you can make a loop if you want to. You don't have to use the main road bridge. Wow, I found a little information booth. There's a lot more hiking here than I can imagine. I started here, I wandered off on this trail, came back around, came down there, came over, came down here. This is where I'm finding my information. It was a campground. Ooh. There is extensive woodland trails out here. And I'm kind of curious what high bridge is now. Oh, the red line here is actually part of the Ace Ice Age Scenic Trail. That's that's good to know. So you can stop here on the Ice Age Trail as a campground. All right, I wandered up to the campground. Take a look at it. It's a nice little campground. It looks like it's about 30 sites. Typical like a state park, although it is a county park. And some of them do have electric. They are reservable online or by phone or in person here. You can also do walk-ins if they're available, self-registration. And if you do that, you can only reserve three days on the site just to avoid double booking. I did stop down at the beach to see what that's like. It is a little smaller than I expected. It's maybe 20 feet wide and you got a little concrete barrier entrance to it with a lot of grassy area, picnic area above it. I have a feeling a lot of people who come here in the warmer weather probably are just dipping their toes in the river downstream as they're playing along the river. And this is the main attraction. Or you could just watch it from up there. So that's my uh, tour of the Delves of the Eau Claire River, at least the little portion I got to today. It is very crowded down in that main central area, but there are a lot of trails to go explore. 
I think I'm going to mark this down as someplace you're going to come back in probably October, spend some time in that campground, and really explore this place. Enjoy the fall colors here, along with those, those so many waterfalls. So many. This place is great. It's definitely a great destination. It's a great place to spend a day. Uh, there was one girl here with her little dog, with her dog. Apparently she was here for four hours, her and her family. That's a long time. She was thoroughly entertained the whole time. So it's a great place to wear out your family too. So thanks for coming along on this little side trip I just took today. Get on out there. You never know what you're going to find.